Good morning, students. Today we will begin structure and working of stomata. It is the part of the plant life, and today we will study about the working of stomata. So here, the stomata. Here you can see the stomata pore. This is found on the surface of the leaves. This is the surface of the leaf. This is the upper surface and this is lower surface. Maximum stomatal pore are found on lower surface. How to recognize the lower surface? That is rough and this is smooth. So this stomata are surrounded by two bean-shaped guard cells. These are the bean shape guard cells and this is the living cell and here there, there is cytoplasm nucleus and chloroplast so it can photosynthesize because chloroplast contain pigment chlorophyll which trap the sunlight for photosynthesis and prepare their own food during daytime. So, when food is being synthesized, the concentration of the cell sap become more and from the adjacent cell, water molecules, here you can see from all side, water molecules enter to the cell and the cell become turgid or expanded and since the inner wall of the guard cell is thick and outer wall is thin, it bulges out. When water molecules move inside, this outer wall bulges out and the stomatal pore opens. And water molecules, one, one more thing you must know that water molecules always move from lower to higher concentration. That is another process is named osmosis. So whenever you soak the seed in water, water moves inside the seed. Water doesn't come out from seed out. So seed when we soak in the water, it gets swell, it gets swell up or expand it or become turgid. Same thing happens here when the concentration increases in the guard cell due to photosynthesis. Water molecules from adjacent cell get in from all the side. So these cells become turgid, guard cell become turgid, expanded and it is having outer thin wall which bulges out and stomata get open. So this is the opening of the stomata. Reverse happen when uh, photosynthesis stop at night. Sunlight is needed for the photosynthesis. So photosynthesis stop at night and the water molecules leak down from the guard cell. And this cell uh, inner wall come closer. Both the inner wall come closer and the cell become flaccid when water molecules comes out from the guard cell it become it become loose or flaccid and stomata get closed so this is the way stomata opens and closes and next what happens in plants with reduced leaves what happens in plant with reduced leaves? Reduced leaves means the plants which found in desert like cactus. You might have seen some cactus plant. Uh, it is the leaves, leaves, leaves become spine. Leaves reduced into spine. Why it is reduced into spine? To cut down the loss of water by transpiration. 
because in desert you know that there is shortage of water and that's why the leaves became a, or converted into spine so that it will reduce the loss of water due to that they have uh, and they have the stem this is the stem which is green in color and this photosynthesizes prepare the food for the plant and next what happens to photosynthesis with red brown and violet leaves you might have seen in coleus croton um other plants also colorful leaves but there are some green parts also means they are having the red brown uh, pigment is more which is masking the green pigment and that's why uh, they look red or uh, brown so the green part track the uh, sunlight from the sun and help in photosynthesis so photosynthesis takes place in that manner and next chlorophyll is needed for photosynthesis before also we have done the experiment this is another activity chlorophyll is needed for photosynthesis for that we take a variegated leaves can you see here some brown or white color here in the leaves where there is no green part so this such type of leaves we take and like earlier we have done uh, we have taken the leaves in a test tube containing ethyl alcohol and then a beaker containing water so we boil this over the water bath and after boiling the green part which is having the chlorophyll dissolved after that we take the leaf in a vessel and put hot water so the leaf become soft and then this leaf we keep in a petri dish and add iodine solution wherever the green part was there that will turn into blue black and where there is brown or white color that will there will be no color changes it will remain as it is or it will show same color so that it shows chlorophyll is needed for photosynthesis wherever green area was found that will turn into blue black after adding iodine solution and the area where there was no green part will show no coloration so uh, this is the way we can taste for starch also so here dear student i complete my today's topic please go through this listen the video and learn it practice this diagram for the exam also learn the drawing thank you